Welcome back to Philly Changer Chats. I'm Dave Rabel. I'm joined today by Michelle Feldman, the Executive Director of Keep Philadelphia Beautiful, a local nonprofit that is affiliated with the larger Keep America Beautiful. Uh, so welcome today, Michelle. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure. Uh, so uh, tell us a bit about the organization, how it came about, and uh, what its mission is. Sure. So we were formed 30 years ago, and we used to be called Philip Pride. Um, and then in 2007, we reconstituted as an affiliate of Keep America Beautiful, and we changed the name accordingly. Um, and Keep America Beautiful has been around since the 1950s um, with a message of community building through community greening. So um, focused entirely on litter prevention and abatement, um, waste reduction and recycling education and promotion. So on the ground, we're focused on those three sort of larger issues. Mm -hmm. uh, we at Generosity are focused a lot on collective impact, that is mm -hmm. the impact of more than one organization approaching not just a specific issue like litter, but the larger community context of it. Tell us a bit about your, uh, the organizations you work with uh, beyond the corporate development, I'm sorry, the uh, community yeah. development corporations. Yeah, so um, we work closely with various city departments and agencies. So we work with the Streets Department Sanitation Division. We work with Parks and Rec. Um, we've worked with the Mayor's Office of New Urban Mechanics. Mm. Um, and we, you know, we try to be um, the best liaison that we can be for residents and community-based organizations to those agencies. Um, and then we've also worked with various parks groups throughout the city. Mm. Um, we've worked with, I mean, not just CDCs and bids, we've worked with civic associations. Um, and we've worked with other environmental nonprofits. So for instance, Penn Future, mm -hmm. uh, we've done work with, um, we've done work with the Fairmount Park Conservancy, um, other organizations that are doing environmental work and stewardship. So it's a much more complicated, complex organization than it appears on the surface. <laughs> we try. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what contribution would you like to see Keep Philadelphia Beautiful make to the social impact ecosystem here in Philadelphia in 2015? So I'd like to I'd like to see us be the best tool and resource that we can be for organizations that are on, that are on the ground, um, and I'd like to see us be able to expand some of the resources that we have already, um, and sort of make sure that those resources are known about and distributed within communities um, around the city. So some of the projects that I mentioned are sort of um, geared towards that, that larger goal. And I'd like to see us be able to expand our educational programming as well. We've reached, um, since I came on board, we've reached about 1,600 students, but we mm -hmm. can do so much more. Mm -hmm. um, and we can you know, beef up our educational programming in several different ways and really be the go-to organization for environmental education around litter. I see, yeah. Uh, do, you, um, do you engage volunteers in, mm -hmm. in such I educational programs? Yes, and yes we do. Wanna, do you want to make a brief pitch for uh, sure. <laughs> volunteers to join? Because it seems yeah. like something that, that a lot of folks can relate to very directly. Yeah, so we actually in 2015 are starting a volunteer teacher program, realizing that we get incoming requests from teachers all the time and we do our best to fulfill them, but and we do our best to be proactive about reaching out to teachers ourselves, but if we had some volunteers who we were able to train um, and sort of send out and proactively schedule, we can reach so many more students in so many more schools. Um, so if anybody's interested in that, um, we actually have four folks signed up already for January through May, but we'll be looking to grow the program. It's a pilot uh, for right now, but we're looking to grow the program in 2015 and 2016. I see. So if my friends so. and family wanted to sign up, where would they go? They can go to keepphiladelphiabeautiful.org or they can email me at info at keepphiladelphiabeautiful.org. Wonderful. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. How do you see um, Keep Philadelphia Beautiful's role as a member of the social impact ecosystem? Uh, and also a positive influencer for anyone looking to connect with revitalization or to create their own initiative. So I'll answer the second part of that okay. question first, which is that we um, try to be a liaison uh, mm -hmm. to whether it's city agencies or whether it's to other organizations doing um, the sort of community-based work that we try to do. So if you know somebody comes to us and isn't sure where to go, um, we will do our very, very best to connect them to the right person at the right place. Um, and then we've also sort of taken that to another level. This past year, we released a community beautification resource guide. So 
and it's sort of half resources that are out there, whether again it's, it's city agencies or nonprofits, and then half event planning tips and tools. Um, so that's just another way that we try to be a liaison to all of the different organizations and entities doing such good work around community beautification um, in Philadelphia. And in terms of how we want, to, that's I think exactly how we want to be a positive Great. influence. Great. Well, thank you very much. I've learned a great deal about uh, how I can participate. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today, Michelle. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thanks for joining us for Philly Changer Chats. <laughs>